thesmartlocal.com How many times ready? Huh? Approve ready, approve ready. Okay, bye bye. Hi, CEO, just like that. Hi everyone, I'm Xenia. Welcome back to another episode of Hired or Fired. Today, I'm at the ICF International Head Office and I'm going to be a CEO for a day. I don't exactly know what CEOs do, but I know they do a lot of things. They are probably very good multitaskers, very efficient with time, and they have to be very resilient because they represent the whole company, right? I think they would think a lot of steps ahead to prevent the problem. So today, I have to use my brain a lot. Hi, my name is Annie. I'm the CEO of ICF Group. My job is like um, a master of everything. So basically, I oversee making decisions on strategic planning, the growth plan for ICF Group, uh, financial decisions, troubleshoots of all the daily operational tasks. As a CEO, I work with practically everybody. They are like my friends and more than a family member to me. Over the two years that COVID has made it more tough, we seized the opportunity to actually do our digitalization transformation. We are 99.9% .9 paperless. So today, everybody works on digital platform. All our documents are being crowd-based. So all our employees over the world are able to access the correct documents out there. <laughs> Hello, I'm Xenia. Hi Xenia, nice meeting you. I'm Annie, CEO of ICF Group. So what will I be doing as a CEO today? Surprise! Let's check our emails. Emails? Yes. First thing, we're going to detail our day. Mm. And there's really a lot waiting for you. I didn't know we are going there, but it's okay. Let's go. The first one is urgent meeting, commercial issue. The commercial team would like to call for an urgent meeting with regards to uh, the manpower. It got Grammar. <laughs> the manpower issue in Germany. Wow, yeah, I think they're yeah, very yeah. kanchong already, you know. So who is Sean and Uf? Uf is our COO. Sean, the CFO. So basically, they want like everyone that is important to be in the meeting. It must be very, very urgent. Okay, the next one. Ah, from my experience, this is bargaining. You guys know, like, this is not Pasta Malam. This is NTUC fixed price. It's okay, we'll see. The next one. Just a reminder that we'll need to conduct the surprise QC check. Reminder only, bro. I think this is not very important la, for your review and confirmation. Everybody just go to you because you are the only one who has the power to push things forward. Maybe you like to pick three that are okay. most important. The one where they wanted the CFO and COO to be there. The person who is trying to bargain. And then the last one would be maybe confirming the uniform. Okay, good attempt. But these are the three that we're going to do for the day. The urgent meetings with the German office and the China projects. I think let's delegate the uniform to our Codcom manager, Marcus. The third one, which is mm. the QC inspections that we need to do. Ah, so that's actually quite important also. Yes. Okay, I'm the Ulf, I'm the CEO. Hi, I'm Sean, I'm the CFO. I'm Woody, uh, I'm commercial manager. So today we was informed that uh, our group that's supposed to go to Germany this week is unable to travel because of the cross-border uh, restrictions. However, the clients is uh, pushing us very hard to meet the uh, milestones. How many workers are we talking about and what's the main reason they're unable to travel? Uh, we have a team of 15. Problem is now with the permit, it will take longer to get it approved. I think there will definitely be some cost implications for us. Can we run through some of the parameters of this, these implications? Most important is the LD. Of course, if we cannot keep the schedule, then we have to see the contract. Has the team done a cost review? Plan B is to, to use a local workforce from Germany. But that for sure, the cost will increase and also the risk is different. But then, my only question is, I thought Singapore, Germany open, cannot go. Workers, no. That is only for uh, leisure. So with this background work, we, we would like to know which way to go. Logically speaking, if you were to hire foreigners, so you still need some time to train them, right? So either way, hiring local or foreigners would have a delay, correct? Mm. We should push for local hires 
you are right there but the thing now is that the local don't authority they don't know when they're going to give us a permit so how do we balance off that cost against our contract obligations that we ought to deliver you can call the MP and ask when we can get a permit or not oh my god I have an idea each of us we take two weeks to Germany we say we go for leisure like holiday like that but then we actually oversee the project <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> oh. Maybe on the contract, when we hire the, the workers from Germany, we can put it in such a way that your working attitude has to be good. If not, something will happen. We can look at certain clauses to measure performance. It means you say you don't perform to a certain standard, we don't pay yeah. you. Oh, yeah. okay. Now you know my headache, right? It's not yeah. easy to decide, right? Correct. I think we need to weigh the balance. First, we look at the cost. Even we may suffer a little bit of our PNL, mm. but it looks like in this case we got no choice. Probably hire the foreign support mm. to get the ball rolling, trying to get our local to be approved. In that way, we can balance the risk. Okay, Zina, I think uh, you do apply your critical thinking, probably due to the lack of experience of encountering such situations. The decisions that you make, make sure that it's compliant and answerable to all the stakeholders. You have done it well, but you need more training and experience. So, Budi has prepared some cost evaluations for us to decide and how to we get back to the client. This project, we quoted for 1.2 million, uh, but client asking a uh, half of price, 600. I tell you already, the client trying to bargain with us. <laughs> If you see in the 2D, you see only bar, only round bar. We will show you the, the virtual reality. This this one 1.2 million. Ah. Yes. Whoa. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this part, we're going to move into the virtual reality, uh, which is a unique program created by ICF. Part of our digital transformation, it helps our customer to immerse in the design space, the depth that a 2D cannot do, and also to better understand of the cost complexity of all the work involved. So let me introduce you, Paolo, our VR specialist. Hello! Uh, I'm Paolo. Uh, yes. Nice meeting you. Right now, I'm holding the controller that you can use to start it already. <gasps> wow! Right now, you're actually inside the project, so... It's... Wow, it's so grand, eh. This is the bar they are talking about. When Budi tell me small round bar, in my head, I picture this, you know. But then I thought like marine company where got help people do bar. Uh, that one is the actual counter that uh, you discuss with Woody. Right now you need to go there by hitting this, <gasps> so you can oh go. Oh my god, there. I can teleport, eh, guys! Oh my god, we are into the sea now. Oh wait for. Oh my god, so close to the ocean, eh? Wow, oh, scary. So this oh. is the counter itself, so, so you can uh, move around, Ro move around it. Why wow, even the wood has textures? Yes, yes. It is so like. Oh, it's so realistic. It's so scary. Even though the project itself is not yet built, you can go inside it and feel the surrounding. Regarding this one, the deciding factor, if ever you see it in 2D, it's very hard to see. Does it have a mechanism inside it? So this one, uh, we propose the three-dimensional so you can uh, see the actual size of the counter. Wow. There's a mechanis mechanism for this one. Oh my god! But so cool. Oh, like when the bar open. Yeah. That is so cool. Now that you have seen the VR, would you like to make a decision to approve the costing? What is the concern from the client? You see the hydraulic? Yes, correct. Yes. At the bar, right? Yes. This one uh, costs a lot. They do want to have the hydraulic helmet. Yeah, but I think with this solutions, um, they will better understand yes. why. We cannot give you 50% off! <laughs> you got see now when you wear the thing, right? The thing oh, is luxurious. I feel like we should stand our ground. We are just trying to get them to understand why it is calculated that way. Actually, Budi and Paolo helped me a lot. Because the VR is the solution, right? To yes. really get the client to understand first the costing. This itself justifies so much. More yes. than any verbal explanation. All right. So, we are moving on to the next task. Hi Zeno, welcome to our ICF factory here in Tuas. First thing first, safety. Here is your PPE you gotta put on before we go into the production floor. It's her helmet! Isn't it cool? Anybody got marker? I'm gonna change to Zenia Tan CEO. <laughs> No, CEO must be fiercer. 
As a CEO, sometimes we do have to come to the production floor. Ooh. So in this job projects, mm. every piece really needs that precision attention. Mm. Yeah. So let me introduce you to Jianrong, who is our QA manager. Hello. Hi, Jian. <laughs> I'll be assisting you with QC check today. Do you know anything about marine materials? I've been educated a lot for mm. the past two tasks. So actually, I think I do know a lot. But you can test me as we go along the QC check. Are you ready? Of course, are oh. you? <laughs> yes, let's go! Materials being used on board have to be IMO certified. These are the raw materials. We are constantly looking for new materials and also construction methods to make lightweight products. Okay. One example is the honeycomb banner. Just because of how it looks, is it? Yes, it looks like honeycomb. This is both lightweight and strong. You see the side yeah. is honeycomb, right? Yeah, all But they make it look panels. like wood. Yeah, because the top layer, we are applying the laminate. Oh. Today, I will invite you to do a QC check on this finished product. I will be giving you a checklist, okay. which I have prepared for you. Oh, that's for, nice. Then you can use it as a guideline to see what okay. are the things to check for. Over here, we have all the dimensions and the details that you will need to do your QC check. I don't know how to read something <laughs> like this. What? Bang. <laughs> I'll be giving you a measuring tape, then you will do the measurement. Then you tell me, is it correct? One zero one zero. Oh, okay. So, so many numbers! It cannot go down. Yeah. Oh, must put downstairs. Yes, yes, Ooh, yes. Uh... You can kick it. Sorry, oh, sorry. It's okay. Sorry. Are you hurt? No, no. <laughs> Okay, how many hoa? Yeah. It's 85. One meter and 85. Then one line oh, oh is what? Five, you need to six. deduct 50 from here because it's ending at the door. So on top, there will be a skirting. Oh, okay. That means correct lah. Yes. <sighs> Next, maybe you can check the functionality. Functionality, yes. okay. Sounds good, sounds good. I'm not very good with numbers, but it's okay. We are looking into details. Got scratches on huh? Got stain. Okay, that's not how you are supposed to use the touch light. Oh, okay. You have to shine it. Sideways? In, yes, in this angle. So you will see any unevenness. You can see all the groove over right. here. Right, yeah. It's even more. Okay, is the surface acceptable? Yes. Okay, good. Functionality. Open. Do you see anything that needs to be rectified? No. Okay, hold it there. Oh. Let's take a look at this. Yeah. From near, you cannot see. Are these two aligned? Oh, they are not. Huh, so like that, the whole cover throw? No, no, no. Oh. Of course, we can rectify anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> but functionality wise, I think it's fine. Is it, it fine? Lock. Everything can be locked? Yeah, everything can be locked. Okay, but see? Eh? It's not locking properly. Eh, why you can, I cannot. Uh? Oh. Ah. oh. Okay, you can call one of our guys to have it rectify straight away. Teamwork right there. This task is quite zero to hundred. Because first, you only show me the honeycomb panel and then boom, become a cupboard. And then you ask me to check. And then I feel like, now that I realise, everything that is built for the ship has to be very heavily scrutinised. Based on your performance today, mm. I think you did pretty well for this. Because... Not very convincing, like, <laughs> if not good, can just say not good. I think there's still some room for improvement, but I see some potential in you. Oh, okay. So, well done. <laughs> Thank you! I feel like today's episode is more of Xenia follows the CEO of ICF instead of attempting to be a CEO because it's simply impossible to do it within a day. My impression of CEO probably don't need to do a lot of things like clear emails, go down personally and QC. Surprisingly, Annie does a lot of those. She puts in effort to understand, to be on the ground so Annie was sharing her story with me off cam, explaining how when she stumbled into the marine industry and she just looked at the ship and then she was like, like why must it always look the same way? And it was just a very simple thought of maybe I can change the way it looked and ta-da! I cannot la, CEO in one day is very hard. You're right indeed. <laughs> you truly have shown that you have the ability of critical thinking. Some part of it, you have uh, made the right decision. So I think it's time lah. Okay, will you hire or fire me? Three, two, one.
fired with some fire. <laughs> Being a CEO is really not so simple. Besides having a people management skill, you have to have the ability to focus the task in hand. As a CEO, making decisions is just not a yes and a no. It's a lot more than that. You're lacking the experience and the mm. knowledge. Being a CEO, you also have to have a growth mindset, building resilience through unprecedented time. And one of which that we really have learned is through our digitalization transformation. This journey makes a lot easier with the support of Enterprise Singapore that has provided the essential training and advancement to our VR and the logistic management system. Thank you for watching this episode of Hire or Fire. If you like this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, ring our notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Then we can point here. <laughs> yeah, okay, goodbye! <laughs>